All right, so here's a complete rebuilding kit for your valve. It has the escutcheon plate, nice and shiny. That looks good, huh? Cartridge, all the washers we need, a nice new handle. All right, so our rebuilding of this valve starts with putting in all of these new washers and springs in the back side of that valve. Now this can be the tricky part of the installation. You don't want to drop these things into the wall or anywhere, and you also don't want to score the back side of that valve. So I use a pencil. Put my fat little fingers in there. Okay, one down. There's two. Good. Okay, so those seats and springs are gonna make contact on the back side of this cartridge, the hot and the cold right there. And now we can put our cartridge in. There's the hot side. What side is it gonna go on? The left. Yeah, very good. And there's our keyway right there, gonna go into the notch right there. And there we go. Good. With the cartridge installed, I can now install an O-ring and the lock nut to make the assembly watertight. How's that look? Beautiful. A couple of screws will hold that plate in place. There's our handle, there's off and there's on. Look at that, just the way it's supposed to. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna to run to the basement and turn the water on, we can make our final adjustments. All right, water is back on. And so now, there's the on and off and the water's coming out. But now, the inner dial right here is how we're gonna set the temperature. And I don't want any more than 120 degrees Fahrenheit coming out of the shower head of the spout. Now they actually make a temperature limit stop. You can see it right here, it's gonna set against these keys. And that's gonna prevent anybody from turning this water any higher than 120. I'll set it with my thermometer and you guys will be safe and sound. Snap the final trim piece in. Shanna, give it a try. Okay. Well, on is on. Good. Cold is cold. And hot is hot. Finally, my shower works exactly the way it's supposed to. Mm -hmm.